This video is a short overview on how one can categorize integrated solutions for MOOC platforms. First of all, you have to decide whether you are using a service in the cloud or whether you are hosting the platform on your own server or have it hosted on some web space. In this second case, you are confronted with, for instance, choosing an operating system and with installing updates. The benefit is that everything is under your control and you can pick and choose what to do and what not to do. A service from the cloud is of course much easier to handle. Most well-known MOOC platforms, however, are pretty closed unless you're at the right university. There are some cloud-based platforms, however, that are open to almost everybody. I'll point out examples to all of these three types in the following. What I'm not going to do in this video is to come up with long feature lists. All of these platforms are under continuous development. You may see changes overnight. Let's start with platforms that are services in the cloud, which most probably are not open to you. Here are the big names, Coursera and edX, which close contracts with universities and demand pretty steep fees for their services. Then there's Udacity, which works on a project basis with authors or with companies. In the non-commercial domain, there is a number of platforms run by groups of institutions, such as FutureLearn in the UK and FIN in France. Some institutions even have their own platforms, such as the Hasso Plattner Institute or the two universities in Graz, Austria. There is one important borderline case, namely that of Miriada X. This is a MOOC platform for the universities participating in the Universia network in Spain, Portugal and Latin America. This platform, however, has been founded by companies. The most interesting platforms for a lean production are of course those that live in the cloud and are open for almost every author at little or no cost. Some of those platforms work on a project basis and wish to review or at least greenlight your project. Among them Canvas Network in the US, Iversity in Berlin. There is a European project called EMMA, the European Multiple MOOC Aggregator, which may start to work like that as well, and the Moin platform from Lübeck, Germany, which also seems to start with that kind of approach. For some other cloud-based platforms, you just have to sign up. Udemy may easily be the largest one of these, and there is others. Aliademy, possibly iTunes U, where you can produce interactive courses for the iOS app. Recently, the Hasso Plattner Institute started MOOC.house, which may be open just by signing up. It doesn't seem to be clear right now. And quite a while ago, Google and edX launched MOOC.org, the edX platform running in the wild for everybody to become an author, but this hasn't materialized so far. If you want to have full control, a platform that you're hosting on your own maybe locally or at some provider, is the way to go. The downside is that you have to take care of installation and administration. A number of full-blown MOOC platforms is available for installation on your servers. In particular, you can run your own copy of edX. But there's others as well, such as OpenMOOC. Google's solution, named Course Builder, does not run on arbitrary web space. It's supposed to be hosted on Google's App Engine, that means in the Google Cloud. Rather than using a dedicated MOOC platform, you can use a standard learning management system such as Moodle and maybe dress up the user interface. This is what's happening on the German platform Moin. And finally, even block software such as WordPress will do, possibly if you add some functionality for quizzes and so on. There is a number of extensions to WordPress that can do this job. These do not come for free, however, 